Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we got to get it started. That's right. Energy, martial arts. That's right. And it's your boy, Preston, back again, Fat Samurai Guy, with Demetrius Angelo. That's right. We've got another amazing uh, Urban Action Showcase uh, podcast episode for you guys. And if you guys are unaware who I am, you may have seen me at this year's Superhero Kung Fu Extravaganza panel. That's right, hanging out with Rick Myers and Frank Jang at this year's San Diego Comic Con. If you do, if you guys are new to me on this channel, check me out on YouTube. But last time uh, we had a blast here, uh, Demetrius. Last time we were hanging out with Siju, Siju Steve Mohammed and Bishop Donnie Williams. That's right, Viking Samurai. We had a blast, and then earlier this year we hung out with Bobby Samuels. And Michael Woods. It's all love here. We have fun here. We have a great time talking martial arts and movies. And we got a plethora today because soon we're going to lead up to it. We're going to talk about Warrior Island, baby. That's right. But again, I am surrounded by martial arts titans of the industry. Legends are here. So what I'm going to do is gonna we're going to go around. I'm going to have them introduce themselves to the live audience. Thank you all for watching and tuning in today to the channel. We're going to start with this legend right here. Welcome to the channel, Silvio. Hi, hello everyone. My name is Silvio Sima. I'm from, I'm from UK and it's been an absolute pleasure for me to uh, finally see uh, Warrior Island come to fruition. It's something which has been in the pipeline for the last 12 years and I've been there alongside uh, James Jefferson all this time. So it's been, it's been an absolute pleasure and, and an honor to be, to be here tonight. Yes, it's an honor to have you, my friend. And uh, oh, the, the, we gonna get to the creator right here, James. Yeah, welcome. Hey. welcome, sir. Hey, guys. I'm the humble, uh, humble creator, James uh, Jefferson here, Warrior Island captain, steering the ship. Yes, well, welcome, my friend. And you're you're, you're already family here because you got the chucks. He's got the chucks. Got so to have the chucks. He's family now. That's right. <laughs> and up here, oh my god. Well, first, let me get to. Uh, the other legend over here. Welcome back, brother, to the channel, Demetrius. Oh, thank you so much. First, I would like to thank all of the guests, um, Grandmaster Ron Van Cleve, James Jefferson, Silvio, uh, Grandmaster Stephen Hayes. These are all the icons I grew up with. I'm just grateful and honored that they are with us and they'll be with us this year uh, for UASC 11. And thank you, sir, for having us all. Yes, yes. It's always an honor. And here he is. The Grandmaster. Ron, welcome to the channel. Uh, good morning. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to be here, guys. Um, I remember when James uh, started the Warrior Island concept about 12 years ago. I was enthralled by his uh, energy and his uh, ambition. And finally hear it. It's finally evolved. That's right. Warrior Island. That's right, baby. That's right. Well, it's always an honor to have the Black Dragon Follow here the code. hanging out. That's right. Follow the code. And uh, speaking of code, the ninjutsu code, welcome, Steven. Hey, great to be here. Great to be here. You know, it's a funny story. Uh, I met James Jefferson at Alan Goldberg's event a while ago, and he said, we're talking about, they're going to do about this movie. And, uh, you know, for so many years, so many people have talked to me, oh, we're going to do a movie. So I always say, sure, put me down. He really made it happen. He really did it. And uh, so I got a chance to be with Silvio and uh, Ron and James uh, in this movie and uh, told all my friends about it. So uh, we're going to have a whole lot of fun with this. Oh, nice, nice. That's awesome. I can't wait to hear uh, some behind the scenes creation of this project. But hold on. We got some awesome people watching right now. There we go. We have uh, right here. Hey, fellas, can't wait to see you. The trailer for the movie. There you go. There you go. We got Keep Forward Productions saying, let's start the ruckus. Another fellow filmmaker. Yes, yes. It's good to see him, uh, him in, uh, watching right now. So, yeah. Let, uh, let's go around a little bit again. And, Silvio, how did you get into martial arts, my friend? Oh, wow. I guess I guess being a kid um, growing up in the 70s, I was very much inspired, like most people of my generation, by, by Bruce Lee, who appeared in phenomenal shape. And the uh, sheer speed they moved with, with, moved with was um, severely impressive, especially for, for a young kid. Um, and then it wasn't until a few years afterwards when I was attacked and beaten up on the street with my brother 
that I decided I'm going to do something about this so this it doesn't happen in future. So I took up uh, martial arts. Uh, initially, it was Taekwondo. Uh, my passion and desire was so immense. The belts changed color very quickly. And then I started to uh, to compete. And then uh, uh, it's a long story from there. Wow, amazing. It's always Bruce Lee, right, Silvio? <laughs> uh, I think for most for most people of my generation, I would say it has to yeah. be Bruce Lee because uh, he's the one who made the largest impact on the, on the cinema screen with his yeah. incredible martial arts skills. So, yes, for, for me, it was initially Bruce Lee. Copy that. That's awesome. Uh, James, how did you start training and become the Ronin? Well, it, interesting enough, I actually was bullied when I was uh, like third, fourth, fifth grade. But it was a little different. I was the biggest kid um, in around. I was over 200 pounds at that age playing football. And But I never would uh, use my size or strength to really hurt the other kids. I would let them pick on me. And then eventually I, of course, watched Enter the Dragon, The Last Dragon, um, Big Trouble in Little China. I mean, just every martial arts movement got me so into training martial arts. Um, I truly am a Ronin because I, I have no one master. I have like 30 masters um, and I've trained everything from Taekwondo. I fought Muay Thai. I fought uh, USA boxing. Um, I was doing rest. I wrestled division one. So I was wrestling and boxing before the UFC or any MMA ever existed. So I was kind of doing mixed martial arts before that even existed. Um, I've always continued training uh, weapons, uh, whatever. Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. I tried with Helston Gracie. He's a 140-pound beast, and I am not going to mess with that man ever again. <laughs> he he put me on my back, and he did, did just stay there and go like this and pray, pray that I don't do anything. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll stick with my wrestling. <laughs> with, Copy that. Copy that. that. But, um, yeah, I'm, I've surrounded myself for many years uh, with really great human beings. Um, the one thing when you learn about what follow the code means is I've probably met well over 25 to 30 grandmasters in martial arts that have been in a sport for 50, 60, 70 years. And to a man or a woman, they will tell you the thing they've learned the most in their entire career was empathy. Hmm. So after an entire lifetime of training to be a killer, they learn to care about somebody. So it, it's, it's very powerful to understand that martial arts, yes, it is a war, martial being war, and it's an art. Um, it's really about love and protection. And that's what Warrior Island is. And we really had a great party here for the for the 10 days and the 100 people on cast and and the, the feedback I get is amazing. Just the, the amount of, of love that came back. So I just surround myself with great people and great things happen. Um, nice. I have lots of ideas. I mean, you're going to see lots of cool stuff in this feature. And then we have the major motion picture being done by written by Sheldon Ledich and George Saunders right now, which is about a third done. The treatment's done. And that's going to blow the the lid off of the uh, theaters uh, in about a year or two. I mean, what that that is awesome. That is awesome to have Sheldon uh, involved, man. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, it, uh, very surreal. He, he, you know, we built our own four acre set here in 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 a secret location in the jungle, and to have Sheldon there uh, this summer with all these wonderful uh, men and women that were involved, uh, it was just it was weird. You know, I was like. My wife came up to me, who's also in the cast, and she like you know tapped me on the shoulder. She goes, she says, points over to the the temple steps where there's what I think about what twelve masters were standing there, Ron, maybe twelve masters, uh, including uh, Grandmaster Hayes. And she says, what? How does that make you feel? And of course, I start crying. <laughs> yeah, you know, like every martial artist, I start crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just like you know, it, 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 it's a long road, Ron and. And Silvio have been with me since 2010 um, uh, when I started this whole thing. And if you hear a ruckus behind me, it's because my tabby cat is uh, crazy. Oh, um, you'll see cats running around the background of me, too. <laughs> so it's all cat. good, man. It, it's all good. of us are around crazy. So, I mean, that's it. My whole life has been a journey of, of, of fighting and sport and yeah. being involved in all kinds of stuff. But it all Amazing. goes back to the original Saturday Kung Fu Theater stuff yep. that, you know, that Ron was in and, and the modern day stuff. Um, yeah. uh, you know, Master Hayes and of course Silvio um, having all his battles in, in, in the movie so it's just it's a great thing I, I was blessed enough to meet Demetrius maybe 8, 9, maybe 10 years ago as well and um, he's been supportive since day one when the, before we even went to the AMC theater we were over nice. at, I believe it was a Sheridan a long time ago uh, or Hyatt or over yeah. on Avenue America so it was a while ago and, it, and it's grown so am amazing the the expo, part of the Urban Action Showcase, and expo right. in all the town. It's yeah. People need to get to it because you yeah. don't get many chances to meet these kinds of 
creative people yeah. in one spot. I keep telling Demetrius, I'm going next year, brother. I'm going next year. I'm going I'm to find a way to get out there for sure so I can meet the legends in person. That's right. That's right. So all of you, you all need to attend this year's. Yes, make sure you guys. Yeah, we're gonna have casting. Call. We're having a casting call there for um, for multiple uh, uh, movies. Yeah, um, it's going to be. Uh, Bam Johnson's doing some great stuff there, and then we have the Sheldon will be there, and we're going to be casting for next year's streaming movie, like we did last year. So if you're you uh, firing a martial arts action person, you need to be there and come there with an open mind because you're going to learn from the best. That's right. That's right. And speaking about speaking of learning from the best, Ron, sir, you are such. An inspiration, um, just for the audience that's watching now, what inspired you to start taking martial arts, sir? My brother was a bully. He used to beat me up when I was uh, a teenager. So I started training in martial arts with Moses Powell in 1959 at the St. John's Community Center in Brooklyn, New York. Man, wow. And, and, and speaking of continuing to be an inspiration again, I, you know, I got to show the picture, Ron. Ron, you know, I got to show the picture. Hold on. I'm, I'm going I'm to get to it here. Look at this physique. Look at this. I, I was mean, overweight. You're I was overweight. overweight. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this. This is amazing. You're in such amazing shape. So there you go, guys. There's no more. There's no excuses. If Ron can still shape be now. in shape. Thank you, Sylvia, for the motivation. There you go. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. And again, you know, you're still competing in, you know, jujitsu tournaments. You're still winning. I mean, I this is really inspiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started training with Helson Gracie 13 years ago. That's where we met, Ron. We met yeah. at uh, Helson, with Helson in at Hawaii. Bay. That's where we actually met. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, when the very first UFC premiered, Ron, uh, you know, my, I watched it with my father and he was kind of like, is this pro wrestling? Like, what is this? <laughs> but then when he saw you show up, he was like, oh, this is legit. <laughs> this is, is this is like, <laughs> this is legit competition. So again, yeah, it's UFC four. Yeah. 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 The early UFC. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it was just, you know, that he was kind of leery on it. My dad at first, you know, he was like, is this, is this real? When uh, the Black Dragon showed up, he was like, oh, this is legit. This is real. So, again, paving the way for the next, genera next generation. So, again, it's awesome to have you here. Now, the, to the real American Ninja, Stephen, what inspired you to start taking martial arts, my friend? Well, I mean, I was like way before the Bruce Lee movies in the 50s, 1950s. I was a little kid, and I watched other kids at school being picked on and bullied. I wasn't bullied so much myself as the other kids and I wanted to do something about it, but I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know how to fight. My family was not a fighter family or anything like that. And I saw a 1955 Lassie TV show and they had a little Japanese exchange student. This is like 10 years after world war two, you came to the farm and, uh, some farmyard bullies were picking on this little Japanese kid and he'd used karate and judo on them. And wow, this opened my eyes, you know, to I've got to find this. But there were no schools where I was growing up. So I waited for 10 years. I finally got to the university and got started in martial arts. So uh, that was my story. That was my story. I was determined. Dude, oh gosh, look at that. <laughs> look, look at that handsome guy right there. Yeah, I had my hair grown out for my role on uh, Shogun, the uh, yeah. miniseries there. And yeah. I used to have hair, you know. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of uh, Shogun, speaking of Shogun, how was it working on that project? And oh, tell, us, wow. tell us about your involvement uh, with Enter the Ninja as well. Yeah, well, Shogun was a blast. Uh, you know, Richard That was a hit. That was a big hit. You know, it was amazing how well received it was in America and I guess around the <laughs> world. You know, so many people tuned in. And uh, so I was hired to be one of Richard Chamberlain's crew members. I fall off the ship and drown. And then they offered me a, a stunt double role for John Reese Davies. And, you know, it was nice. But John is huge, you know, barrel chested guy. And he has this very Shakespearean voice. And, 
oh gosh, how am I going to imitate him? You know? And so they got me a water ski life vest and they put John's coat over me and I had to run down this ship yelling. And then I fall off the ship in a rainstorm and Richard Chamberlain rescues me. And uh, <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to imitate John. Well, they're not going to even use my voice, but I didn't know that at the time. And uh, so I worked with him for a month and a half. And All I right. think I'm on screen for like four seconds. <laughs> yeah, That's how filming goes. You know? I'm sure so, it was a blast filming that. Oh, though. I had a blast. It and was, uh, Enter the Ninja, what was your involvement again in that? Was it the, you well, wrote, helped write the script? I was the screenwriter. I was the what? screenwriter. Uh, but they didn't use my name. Um, a bunch of things happened between uh, the idea yeah. and the actual film. And I was... Well, I can say it now, but I was really embarrassed with the final thing, you know, stuff they did in there. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking about my teacher in Japan. What's he going to say? You know, if I'm a, so I right. asked to, uh, I think they made up like Dave Dorward or some such like name for the screenwriter. But I did the original screenplay for Enter the Ninja. And uh, I'm sure it was better in hindsight. I'm sure oh, it was yeah. a better script. Yeah, much better script. <laughs> Much better <laughs> copy that copy that silvio my friend yeah. i mean we are huge fans of you here on the channel man like you are a beast i mean if you if you want to look at it what is a what is a, a greek god's body look like yeah, just, just show him this picture of silvio i mean it's it's phenomenal your skill your athleticism i mean you're just so good my friend i mean we've been fans for a long time and you know Ooh. you're your uh, contributions to the martial arts movie community has been great, man. I mean, uh, Undisputed 2, Fighting Scott Atkins, Jet Li, and Unleashed. I mean, Transporter 3 with Jason Statham. How was it working with those three uh, martial art actors? I think uh, each and every production has been very unique and different in itself. I had something to learn from it. But nevertheless, one thing I always took away with me is an immense inspiration and motivation to strive for, to be better, to, to uh, strive to be like some of these legends that I, I followed my whole life. Um, Scott Atkins was probably one of the first people I worked with. Uh, that was my first production in Thailand, Black Mask 2. And we spent three months in Thailand, first of all, Bangkok, then Chiang Mai. We became very close friends. And ever since then, we kept pulling each other on movie projects. I think so far we've done five features and two TV shows uh, together. But as I said, I mean, some of the biggest people have really inspired me. Jason Statham was a phenomenal one to work with. Uh, but probably one of the most impressive guys um, I always recall and bring up uh, during these interviews is Keanu Reeves. Uh, just as, as a human being, it, it was a very, very kind, compassionate uh, human being and very creative in, in his ways, the way he's working. So I very much enjoyed working with Keanu Reeves. Uh, he motivated me in so many ways. Nice, nice. Yeah, you know, your opening fight with Scott Atkins in Undisputed 2 was so good that that really, opening fight in martial arts movies, the first fight really is extremely important, not just the finale, but the first fight's extremely important because that sets the tone for how the fight, the rest of the movie's going to be. Right. And a lot of people that I know, were I, I recommended Undisputed 2 to watch. They were like, when they started watching the movie, they are like, eh, we're not sure about it. And then it was your fight with Scott Atkins in the beginning. They were like, mind blown They're like oh my god the rest of the movie's action is and fight choreography is going to be like this so it's very important so man you're phenomenal and uh if they ever do a street fighter reboot in the future uh you have my vote silvio to play m bison everybody m. Bison. watching hashtag it silvio simak as in bison let's go i got my guy oh hold on let me let me blow that up oh yeah there you go oh, there we go yeah <laughs> ryu ryu yes love it i love it i love it, love it, love it. I, I actually played ryu in a, in a playstation tv commercial uh five five six years ago oh nice uh, but, but in the tv production it was uh, m bison nice, I, nice. I've, I've been a big fan i've been a big fan my whole life since, since i was a kid that's right everybody watching hashtag it get silvio and some future more street fighter projects because he he kills it, man. And speaking of continuing to kill it, Ron, you're still acting in movies today, my friend. Yes. Do you have a favorite film from of yours? No, I don't. No. How was it working with uh, Fred Williamson in uh, Fist of Fear, Touch of Death? Fred Williamson is an OG. 
you know, there you he, go. Studied, uh, he studied he uh, studied Goju karate with uh, Aaron Banks back in the sixties and seventies. Yes. So I've known Fred for a long time. For a long time. He's always been one of my heroes. Nice. Copy that. Copy that. Yeah, I met I had a chance to meet Fred Williamson at Dragon Fest, and he was a great guy, man. I had to, I had to, I had to take my picture with him. But yeah, Black Dragon, Black Dragon's Revenge, Way of the Black Dragon. Make sure you guys check all these movies out. They're kung fu classics. But I have to ask you, I mean, you're still active today in the films like Snow Black, but I have to ask you, in Kung Fu Fever, how was it uh, fighting up against uh, or, you know, participating in a good old match against Dragon Lee there? He, he was really a cool guy. He, he had uh, very good martial arts skills. His kicks were good. His hands were good. And he was a really nice guy. And he was a fitness fanatic like Silvio. <laughs> there you the guy go. was only five foot five. Yeah. He was really pumped up. Yeah, he's uh, you know? he's jacked for sure. Yeah, he's jacked. Uh, but I absolutely loved and adored your documentary, Ron. Uh, the Hangman, the story okay. of Ron Van Cleef. It was phenomenal. Uh, you know, it was great seeing, you know, other icons on there. Cynthia Rothrock. You know, Michael Jai White just showing love and appreciation for you because you are a legend, man. You know, you have paved the way and continue to inspire. Uh, so you guys you need to check out The Hangman. It's actually on Tubi right now. Uh, you go over there and check it out and watch it. It is phenomenal. And Silvio, we're still talking movies here. We're, we're getting there. We're getting to Warrior Island. Don't worry about it. Uh, but Silvio, hey, you know, I got to give, give it a shout out now. You know, to your oh, upcoming, wow. yeah, man, upcoming projects. We're looking forward to it. The Shepherd Code, Don the Dragon Fish. Wilson, Alan De La B, and this phenomenal war film you got coming out, Suicide I just, Platoon. I just finished shooting the the Second World War film uh, last week. Uh, I have to say, this this year I feel very blessed. It's been very very busy year. I've done five feature films and one TV show and one commercial as well. I uh, just finished shooting a, a Second World War film, which was a lot of fun. And uh, the Shepherd Code, which was with Alan De La B, which we were playing an assassin, but also did two feature films. Where I'm, an, I'm a prisoner, so I played a prisoner's soldiers, assassins uh, this year, which has been uh, an awful lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to, always to your projects, especially the one you got with David coming up, Viking Samurai. That's right, Bloodstorm, correct? Bloodstorm, that's correct. Yeah, yes, that yeah. was shot in uh, North um, um, California, the Red Reading. Just stop yeah. yeah, looking forward to that uh, for sure. So since I have the real-life American Ninja here, Stephen, uh, what is your honest thoughts on the American Ninja franchise? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I love the laugh before, <laughs> before you said, I love the laugh. <laughs> what can I say? What yeah. can I say? I'm going to try uh, to be diplomatic here. How, how, how's this? Fun but flawed. Yeah, fun but flawed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I studied the real ninja martial art in Japan yeah. in the 70s. Yeah. And in the 80s, when all those ninja movies were being made, nobody had any idea what the ninja martial art actually looked like. Right. So I think they said, okay, it's like karate, but like meaner. And uh, uh, <laughs> no, it's not like karate, but meaner. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's a whole different way of moving. Right. And so many people saw these movies, and uh, um, and somehow I was never involved uh, in in uh, those That's movies. That's odd. That's so strange. Yeah, there's a long, long story about yeah. some little political things. Ah, uh, you know, yeah. nah, uh, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't it be that if they showed a true ninja movie, it would just be a blank, dark screen, and in the end, everyone would just be laying there dead? I think that's correct. <laughs> no, no one wants to just see that. How do they do it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, those things were fun. And uh, like the Show Kasugi movies, Show Kasugi and I are still dear friends. We email, yes. email each other all the time. And uh, he did a, a great job. And uh, uh, But nobody had actually seen the ninja martial art. I mean, how it works. And uh, it's very different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. so, uh, that said, you know, I think the wonderful thing was the word ninja became a part of American vocabulary. Everybody yeah. who, who in pop, pop culture. Yeah. 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 And it, uh, still works to this day. Um, now it's gone 
crazy. They're ninja. I, I have a ninja blender. A ninja blender. <laughs> ninja air fryer. We have a ninja air fryer. Um, you know, it's, you know, the office ninja. Uh, but, you know, I still think people respect that word. Uh, and that's why it shows up so many different yeah. places. They better. I'm that's right. Getting, I'm still getting some mileage out of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. We uh, got a chat here. Master Fat Samurai. Well, I'm not a master. I'm amongst masters today. It's an honor to hear your voice. I still have all the Black Belt magazines. These legends are in. Look at that. He still has it. How, how cool is that? Well, it's good seeing you, Todd. Well, speaking of Show Kasugi, uh, we all love him as well here on the channel. Uh, Demetrius, remind everyone about those who are just now chiming in. Remind everyone of what's going on with Revenge of the Ninja. Oh, absolutely. It's the 40th anniversary of Revenge of the Ninja, and we will have a screening as well as a ninja star throwing contest. Fake what? ninja stars. Fake, fake, fake ninja <laughs> stars. Um, you know, something fun for the yeah. young people. Yeah. But, uh, you know, showing love for the ninjas, man, because, you know, I wanted to be a ninja when I was growing up. Yeah. Hey, there I, you go. There you I go. dressed up as a ninja for Halloween. Well, yes, there, there you go. go. There you yeah. go. The word on the street was it was karate, but meaner. You know, that was... <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! Uh, but I gotta uh, back to you, Ron. I have to show this little snippet from the Black Dragon trailer. It's it's phenomenal. None of that jumping around and flying through the air, because this is the real shit. <laughs> That is amazing. This is the real shit. Oh, more trailers like this, please. People that make movie trailers now, please. More stuff like that, please. You that can grab amazing. our trailer off of uh, YouTube. YouTube's Warrior Island has the, the Warrior Island trailer if you want to grab it. Uh, I do have the 30-second promo. Is that the one you're talking that's about? It. Yeah, that's All it. Right. As of this point, that's the official trailer. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in a second here. Let me see if there's any... As you, I just had to play that clip. More trailers like that. Wonderful. It's exciting. Wonderful. Yeah. Actually, we'll go ahead and play it now. Here we go, baby. It is Warrior Island time. Let's do it. The greatest martial arts masters of all time. Champions from around the world. Red ninjas. Protectors of the island. Black ninjas. Desire the power. One angry son. Needs their souls. Follow the code. Save you men. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. You know what? That trailer scratched the action itch, baby. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah that's good you, everything that i love james is in this project <laughs> martial <too>. arts ninjas <laughs> you have the legends in there cyclops <laughs> cyclops weapons mma stuff i mean everything that i love is in here i mean this is so good so i have to start with the creator uh mr jefferson how did this wonderful amazing idea come about it uh it actually goes back to when i was covering the ufc and bellator um, as a, for the media, I was uh, doing a lot of interviews and, and stuff backstage for UFC. And I started to see that, that the traditional martial arts, uh, the respect and honor was starting to, to wane, to disappear. And it, be, it was becoming just a sport and uh, it was getting very disrespectful. So I met with, I actually met Ron Van Cleef in Hawaii when working with Helsing Gracie and um, uh, Ben Perry was the director. We actually sat down and talked about what we could do to kind of bring back the traditional values of what martial arts was meant to be. And uh, we, started a, we started a fight league uh, back then called Global Proving Ground. We produced about 36 fights wow. um, for uh, uh, NBC Sports and some things. And it was difficult to compete with the UFC because of the dollars and the, and the, and the market reach yeah. they had. But at the same time, uh, we had started the comic book series of warrior island and people started to like that so we're up to comic book 13 and 14 now our goal is to get a comic book once a month 
and that's the actual comic book 13. It's a little bit of an orange origins one. That looks um, phenomenal. Now it's going to be good. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have four very high quality artists. Um, a couple of them will be at the premiere. Amazing. Um, but everything is about the, the Tiki Code. The Tiki Code is about teaching the uh, warriors, the fighters of the world, who are the heroes of the world, because it takes courage. And people's uh, what people the number one thing they look up to in people is courage. The number one fear is public speaking. But the number one thing that people look up to is courage. Yes. And anyone that can step into a ring or a cage or a mat or an action film, they have courage to get hit or to hit. So we take that, build it into the Tiki Code, which encompasses everything from uh, honor, respect, integrity, strength. All the things that make up a warrior um, are part of this Tiki Code. So it's follow the code, save humanity by teaching the warriors of the world, hey, live by this code. A very similar to the Bushido Code and, and other codes in martial arts. And uh, everything from the comic books to the TV show to the streaming movie we're doing now, the full feature film, eventually the, the video game and the animated series. What? Or, or, oh, yeah, we're working on all that. So it's a full universe, and it's all about making the world a better place. Um, as I mentioned earlier, all the grandmasters I've ever met say the thing they've learned the most is empathy. So, you know, after a lifetime of being one badass mofo, they realize it's better to give a hug. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think if we start to teach the younger warriors, yeah, you can be skilled and, and be amazing inside of a competition or in protecting people, but you really need to be a better human being so that people know that the most badass mofos are also the best human beings. There you go. And um, it's good versus evil. So, you know, with every protagonist, you have to have antagonists. So we have the black ninjas against the red ninjas on the island. Um, the Red Ninjas are the protectors. Uh, follow uh, uh, Stephen's guidance and Ron's guidance. Um, Silvio and I are kind of the middle management, if you would uh, say, of the island. So we're um, we're making sure that the island and all things about the island are being run correctly. We have to uh, dilly out some uh, discipline uh, once in a while. And then there's uh, the Cyclops, which uh, has a much deeper backstory than anyone knows, unless you read all the comic books. Um, the Cyclops uh, comes from another uh, part of the world and is there to take care of the, the fighters and, and, and the perpetrators that don't follow the code and he takes their soul. So there's a lot of lessons to be learned on Warrior Island uh, through all the comic books, TV shows. Um, and and the, the video game is going to be pretty cool when we do it. It's going to be very similar to a Street Fighter. Um, and the people yeah. on, this, on this call are also, also going to be characters. Um, yeah. uh, Dim uh, Demetrius already built some of our environment with his... Uh, his uh his augmented reality stuff and, and uh nice 3d uh, stuff that he does so yeah it's pretty cool uh this is the first time it's this has ever been done in film we actually had real fighters real martial artists and real action stars all in the same production with actual fights and action scenes so it's never really it, it was a it kind of was like barnum and Bailey. i had to kind of get all these rings going uh yeah. make it all fit and what happened was you had a very interesting family atmosphere of people that really bonded uh on a four acre uh tropical movie set um of people that are action movie stars martial artists and real mma fighters from bare you know fighters like from bare knuckle boxing ufc and other other things so uh a lot of respect a lot of honor i mean i think uh we're excited already doing casting calls at demetrius's event at the urban action showcase next but we're going to do casting call for next season um, oh, as funny. well as Sheldon Lenich, our writer, will be there to look at potential talent for the major motion picture. Um, yes. But I'm only as good as the people I surround myself with, and I'm right here surrounded by amazing people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. You know, James, one of the things I found pretty remarkable when you had all these masters and all these different styles and it, no ego, everybody just loved each other. You know, I mean, we had a ball. I got to talk to Ron and, uh, you know, talk to, really, I've known Silvio for 10 years, but we never really got to talk. And uh, I think that was one of the great takeaways I got. So many dear friends, no ego, everybody just celebrating each other. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. That's amazing. And I'm yeah, glad I got you... To, I, yeah, I was peeking at some of the footage and some, the, the, the whole first episode, um, the whole first hour is on the timeline. And the directors and, and editors had me on a, a Zoom call the other day. I was watching some of the stuff. It's magnificent 4K. Uh, Ooh, amazing. Right. Uh, and then it, it's very, uh, 
emotional when you have uh, 12 years and millions of dollars and lots of yeah. uh, sweat equity and bootstrapping and it gets to that point it's it's very emotional and to know that i have the friendship of these people um it's easier to get up every morning and work hard so that's that's important yeah. to me well man this sounds phenomenal it's just this project just keeps getting better and better but i got a quick question for ron from chat here um Says, uh, did anyone uh, know uh, Jim Kelly and Bruce? Well, Ron, you trained with Bruce, correct? Yes, we were yeah. classmates in Hong Kong. Uh, I studied Wing Chun uh, with uh, Leon Ting and uh, Samuel Kwok, Duncan Leon, Jason Lau. Mm. I started my Wing Chun training in the 1970s. Wow, mm. that's amazing. Jason's going to be with us next year. On Warrior Island, Jason. Oh, great, great. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, but speaking of a plethora of amazing, you know, talent involved, I'm gonna give a little shout out in this video and let everybody else know what that's watching. Who else? What other awesome legends and badasses are involved in this project? So let's take a look. <laughs> There's a lot more too because there's I know. 100 people on set. <laughs> I couldn't fit everyone, but <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to show you know, give a little video shout out to all the people involved. There we go. So badass people watching right here. Todd Johnson says that trailer was dope. The Warrior Island trailer. He's all on board. They are they are excited. So Silvio, how was your experience uh, filming? Warrior Island. absolutely phenomenal. I mean, some of the things I keep hearing from from the other gentlemen involved today is uh, our utmost respect for each other. Uh, that's, that's one thing that was evident. Every single person that was there had held in very high regard for their achievements and their skills. And naturally, walking away from that film set, I was, I was inspired and motivated in so, so many different ways. Having worked with so many legends and having to spend some time with uh, Ron Van Cleef and Stephen Hayes and talking to them and, and learning and picking something up. So it's been it's been a, a very different film set to what I've been used to because I've known most of these guys for for decades, for, for a number of years before we started shooting this. So uh, the energy, the vibe on film set was very, very different to anything I've seen before. First of all, there's been, uh, uh, we've, we've, we've known each other for many years, but there's been immense respect between each other. No ego, like Stephen was saying, no ego whatsoever between, uh, between the cast and crew. So uh, very positive, very good energy and vibe. Awesome. Copy that. Copy I believe that. that same vibe is going to be at uh, Demetrius's event. So there are tickets available. Um, there's, right. there's there's VIP tickets. Um, Demetrius does a really nice job. You get like a Warrior Island lanyard. You get a Warrior Island autograph um, trifold thing, which is amazing. You're going to get to meet a lot of these stars. Um, this is the first kickoff of other um, premieres we're going to have around the world. So um, this is the, mo the one that's going to be over the next few months. So this is the one to be at. But then um, some of the other stars you'll meet at some of the other premieres around the world. So it's uh, a very exciting New York City Times Square. Yeah. Um, AMC Empire uh, 25 Theater. It's it's a beautiful place. It's uh, you can see Enter the Dragon. You can see Only the Strong. Yeah. You can see. I mean, uh, just great movies all for one ticket. It's it's unbelievable. So um, you can get training and action star and try out for the movies. It, there's no other event like this. It's the only one I've ever seen. That's yes. like that. So you, you gotta to go. You, you gotta, gotta go. go. That's you gotta right. Go. Or we'll send ninjas to come get you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> their, their karate is meaner. Uh, so, <laughs> so, Silvio, uh, uh, James said you play kind of a, like an, an enforcer type character on the island. Um, how many uh, action sequences do, are you involved in? Oh, God. The top of my head, I think the action sequence is two, two or three. Okay. Uh, there's, been, there's been quite a bit of dialogue, but uh, two or three action sequences. You have to remember... Uh, the screen time was shared amongst uh, 
lots of reputable and yeah. acknowledged masters. So uh, yeah. be ready for lots of really cool action from some of the biggest legends. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, at least we get to see you throw down. That's what you know. Get, you, you, get, I'm sure James let you shine. And James, I have a request. I have a request, my friend. Oh boy. But Stephen's amazing voice, by the way, you need to have him in some way for the for the movie do it like an opening narration. Maybe that can happen. Oh yeah, his his voice would be uh, very memorable in any situation. So yeah, we uh, we we have a chance. Uh, one of the segments of the uh, the show is um, there's a dragon of truth and there's a a temple that the fighters have to come to and meet. Uh, the yeah. Grand Masters to find out, you know, are you really learning the code? What kind of a human being are you becoming here? Because these fighters have been taken there against their will. They, this is not something they chose to do. So um, I don't want to give too much of the plot away, but it's uh, if, if you if you like movies like Enter the Dragon, if you like movies like The Last Dragon, Big Trouble in Little China, uh, all those movies and all the Kung Fu theater led me to come up with this idea around the, the Tiki code. So it, it has a little bit of everything, but something a little different as well. And it will, right. uh, it'll want you to keep coming back for more. You know, we're, we're going to be doing this every year for the streaming movie TV show. Um, the, 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 the Hollywood um, production houses think that the, the major motion picture will be a, a trilogy. And then uh, the video game will be ongoing like Mortal Kombat and then the uh, animated series. So we're uh, very blessed to have friends that can do all this stuff. And if they don't, they know someone that does. So we keep, uh, I get speechless with it sometimes because it was just an idea that I had that I told Ron about 12 years ago. And then and then that, that winter, I told Silvio and everybody at the action, Mark Moore, my idea, and then people wanted to help. And it just was, just kept going. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Well, here's a good, I love this photo right here. It's just to show the dedication and how you see the beginning and the end result here. I mean, look at this. Look at this dedication. I mean, now, wait, man. I, I don't want to take credit, but I did build this pretty much by myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's phenomenal. I mean, look at oh, that. Oh, no, that's not mine. That's Jason Lau's. Yeah. But it's still, it's the bottom is Jason Lau's. I got the idea. Go back to that. That's Jason Lau's temple in Smyrna, Georgia. That right. gave me the idea. Right. Ours is a little different. But yeah, yeah, that's where I got yeah. the idea from, was right. from Jason Lau's temple. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to show the beginning. And the Lao Temple and the final product here. I mean, and my wife. <laughs> phenomenal, man. Look at that. That looks so good. Uh, talk you know, about the, 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 the photo on the top, James. What, what's going on in that scene right there? Um, this is me uh, walking by the temple after a long day of having to deal with the fighters. And uh, Ginger Lotus is played by my wife, Nicole. She's um, just resting at the temple. Awesome. And we have a we have a little discussion uh, that'll be you'll see when you watch the show. It's uh, it's it's kind of funny, but um yeah, it might be a little yeah. spark of a uh, future romance with yeah. my wife. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, what, I, what, I, what I think is uniquely different uh, about Warrior Island to most martial arts films that most of us have come across is uh, most martial arts films we've come across and watched previously tend to focus on only one aspect of martial arts, which is the physical attributes of martial arts. Yes. And uh, only the physical aspects get, uh, get um, uh, sh shut upon. The, within Warrior Island, the, the spiritual and mental aspects of martial arts are brought to the surface, which is very different about it. So it shows shows martial arts in a slightly different light. More yeah, I think I think watching, um, you know, watching not only the relationships I have with these amazing people and all the other amazing people, my my big brother from another mother, Alan Goldberg, um, but but learning uh, about Ip Man and Ip Man's um, personality. And I know the movies isn't exactly like him, but watching all the Ip Man movies too, is that like, you know, he really cared. He really did care uh, in the movies. I, I never yeah. met him. I yeah. mean, Ron, I don't know if you met Ip Man or you probably met his son. Yes. Um, but um, there's a lot of caring involved in real martial arts. I mean, from India and, and, and uh, uh, Western China, martial arts evolved to be someone to protect the, the village, someone to protect the crops, the loved ones, it all evolved as a protection and then eventually ended up having to be like a war level. But yeah, I mean, it's about caring when you get to the root of it. Copy that. Uh, Ron, how was yes. it working with this legend right here? Tayari, I've known Tayari about 60 years. We're actually related, his wife and my ex-wife. 
we're sisters. So wow. we've known each other a long time. We worked for Jerome Mackey. I ran 15 schools. Diari was so helpful in helping me uh, keep that project together. It was, Tayari is an amazing individual. Nice. He's so it was like just old friends reuniting and doing their doing what they do best. I love it. Yes. I love it. And Shadowfish Two down there. Shout out to uh, Robert Samuel. Shadowfish Two was is phenomenal. I enjoyed that when that premiered uh, last year. That was one of my favorites. Uh, but uh, Ron, what's going on in this scene here at the top? You and Steven uh, up there. Are you guys training the what, what's going on in that scene? We were training the fighters at the, the complex Tayari, um, Steven, myself, we taught several techniques to the different fighters. Um, nice. It was, it was great working with these guys. There's so much great talent out there. And, and when you see people like Silvio and Steve, they're amazing themselves. I mean, the, the, their origins, their history. I mean, it's kind of amazing that we Thank you, James, for, for getting us all together because it's been quite amazing. Thank you. you. I, I appreciate the I appreciate the gratitude. It means a lot to me. Yeah. And Demetrius, thank you so much for all your support for all these years. Truly. It's been yeah. an amazing adventure. Well, first of all, Grandmaster got me my first major HBO commercial, 1996. Look at that. <laughs> Wow. So Grandmaster wow. supported me for a long time, and I'm grateful. Yes, yes. Here we go. Uh, Todd says, it's a master. It's an honor, Master Van Cleef, to be here. Look at that. He's happy to be here hanging out with the Grandmaster himself. That's right. And look at this. Look at it. Surrounded by more ninjas. Look at this. Now, this is, again, what brings me to the dance, James. Ninjas. I'm telling you. And Stephen... I, I know you were excited. I know you were like, finally, someone's using me. <laughs> someone's <laughs> using me to do some, do it, do it right, do it correct. So, were you, were you, were you excited when James uh, hooked you up there and got uh, contacted you to be a part of the project? Oh yeah, I was delighted. I was delighted, and uh, you know, I'd heard so many of my friends were going to be involved, and it just worked out that I had the time and could uh, make it to uh, the secret location and. Uh, film and uh you know the whole concept and as, as silvio mentioned you know not just fighting but you'll see in the final show there's a transformation that happens with this very arrogant uh mma guy who's forced to come onto the island i don't want to give away too much but yeah uh how he changes and how he grows and how he sees his role in the martial arts as something different bigger there's more responsibility, more uh, humanity in there. So everything about this, that's amazing. It was right up my alley, right yeah. up my alley. It's what I love yeah. to teach, and it's what I love to encourage. You know, all the uh, you know fellows that uh, are are here on the show and also on the uh, set. Everybody's a decent human being. The and ninja, the black ninja costumes are are I mean, uniforms are actually were designed by Steven and are available at Century uh, Martial Arts. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, you can buy the now how about those red ones? You can't buy those. So. No, you cannot buy those. Those are those are <laughs> proprietary Warrior Island. Can't hide anywhere red oh. ninja uniform. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, look at that. But yeah, this shot right here, I was like, yeah, I'm watching this. <laughs> you didn't even have to have Warrior Island on there. Just just the shot of them. Well, but I had to. I'm just, I'm just I'm just like sold. Just sold from this image right here. Like I have to see this. I have to watch this. And uh how did the site was was the Cyclops always planned the character? Was he always planned to be a part of it? Yes. Man, what a great look. And he's got an axe. That's how that's how you that's how you know you got a great villain. <laughs> yeah, a huge axe. axe. And an eye, an eye patch there. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. How was it uh, bringing him in? Was he your first uh, choice? He's been the first and only from the beginning. That's Neil Goliath Grove. He's fought in the UFC, Bellator. Uh, he's also a traditional uh, karate and kung fu guy. He's a 6'6 six, six, uh, specimen. Um, wonderful man. Um, never acted before, but did an amazing job. And um, he's nice. also obviously in the comic book. Everyone that's in the movies and TV shows is also in the comic book. It, it, it's the only 
it's the only real comic book that has real people in it that is uh action heroes that uh you can meet and get autographs and and, and stuff so Phenomenal. it's pretty cool well i love your design the ronin there i love your design <laughs> there it's so good it's so good oh my goodness but yeah got a little shot here of the action look at david showing off there kicking the cyclops there look at that and um who provided who did the makeup effects for oh, the, we had a whole for, staff there was a whole staff of people nice um, nice it was wonderful we got a lot of college um graduates out of film schools that just have great um they came fresh off of the live uh, walking dead set um which was perfect because you know cyclops is almost a walking dead so yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice nice look at that that's awesome but yeah look at that that david showing off there doing that sidekick jumping sidekick yes yeah, stunt yeah. coordinator bill pew in the background there did a really wonderful job for us he's uh see him right there in the blue shorts and white. yeah he, yeah he was great uh stunt coordinator so we were Amazing. blessed to get him through um uh, jose torres and uh, and demetrius and all those guys are they do yeah. a lot of work together yeah yeah oh, yeah i'm excited definitely excited and uh you may know this guy He's excited as well. Hey guys, sorry I cannot join the live. I'm in the middle of filming another project, but a couple of things I want to say about Warrior Island. What an amazing, pleasant experience. I want to thank creator James Jefferson for putting it all together. I know it's been a, a very long dream of his, and we really captured some magic, so you guys are going to be very excited about it. All those great martial artists there, like Ron Van Cleef, Stephen K. Hayes, we got Sylvia Simak. So many amazing individuals, too many to name. I don't want to forget anybody. Too many to name, way too many. But you guys are going to be in for a treat. It's going to be very entertaining. And uh, just kind of sharing some of my experience, man. Like I had a wonderful time working with everybody, of course, the director, Michael Feldcore, of course, the stunt coordinator, Bill Poo. And then James was great. Every, all the cast was great. A lot of good energy there. And, of course, I, I think everyone was going to mention Sheldon Lettich. He came out as an observer, but you could kind of tell he uh, – Got into his directing mode of sorts and, um, you know, was kind of like really helping out that production, man. And that was definitely a highlight. I think anybody would say <laughs> interacting with Sheldon was a highlight there. But everybody was cool. Everybody was very cool. So anyway, enjoy the rest of the Warrior Island discussion, guys. And make sure to show up November 11th at the Urban Action Showcase because I will be there along with a lot of the people you see in this uh, podcast, with the Warrior Island people. All right. Thank you, David. Ultimate professional. Ultimate yeah, professional. thank you, David. Yeah, thank you for that video. Special message video there. Uh, but yeah, James, Silvio, Stephen, Ron, Demetrius, everybody watching, I am excited for <laughs> Warrior Island. This project just keeps getting better and better and better and bigger and better. That's right. And I cannot wait to watch it. I mean, come on now. Come on now. You got legends first. You got great locations stuntmen tons of martial artists other martial arts legends and icons showing up that's right talent all around filmmaking talent and ninjas that's all you needed i, I could i should have just stopped at ninjas <laughs> it's got ninjas <laughs> people are going to want to watch it especially you got with it. Steven. You got it. Yep. Stephen k hayes approved ninjas. yes he, yes yeah. approved approved which is more <laughs> finally really more on film you know. that's right <laughs> silvio's throwing down you got the legendary Silvio Simak throwing down. David, we got great villains. We're going to have some action, some violence, but most important, a message. That's right, a message. Follow the code. Follow the code, yes. And I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to end the stream here with this iconic shot of legends. Look at all these guys. This is what it's all about. Everybody coming together, uh, to, to working hard to make something great. And uh, again... James, thanks again for being here. Before we wrap it up, I'm going to go around again. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for being here. Stephen, anything you'd like to say to your followers? Oh, you know, I think uh, I've waited 40 years, you know, to be involved in some kind of a theatrical production. And I'm really proud of what has come together and what is the future to build on this whole Warrior Island concept. Uh, I think let's shoot for the sky. Let's shoot for the sky. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. Silvio, Silvio, anything to say before we wrap it up to your followers? Well, I, I think I would just like to say that our creator, James Jefferson, has really proven and shown that consistency and persistence is always the key in any industry. And whereas most people would have given up by now after trying to raise the funds within first, second, third, fourth year, 
he kept his dream going for 12 years and uh, come to, to, to realize it. So uh, keep it up. Oh, yeah. Good one. Oh, yeah. And Grandmaster Ron. I'm so very proud to be part of this project. Uh, thank you, James. It's been a long road, <laughs> but it was a wonderful experience working with everyone. And, and thank you, Silvio. Silvio is actually going to be one of the villains in my new video game, Hotel of the Black Dragon. <laughs> really? Nice. really? Yeah. yeah. All wow. right. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I can't wait to check that out. That is awesome. Yes. <laughs> and here he is, James. Well, this is just the start of something big. Um, we have lots of stuff coming down the down the pike here, uh, and it's, be, just be ready. Just be ready for some stuff that's going to shock the world. And uh, I'd like to thank um, Dana White and the UFC for doing everything wrong, so I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Oh man, that's the perfect way to end it there. Wow. There we go. I got chat. Uh, wow. Saying, ten out of ten stars for the Warrior Island project. Chat is excited uh, as well. That was a perfect segue <laughs> to end the stream. What? Well, what, you know, I can't forget about my other brother here, Demetrius. Anything before we go? Yeah, Saturday, November 11th, AMC Theaters, Times Square. Oh yeah! Fourteen Woo! hour action cinema megathon. Be a part of the action. Show some love and and some honor and respect for these people who laid the foundation for what you see today. That's right. Respect. Yes. So make sure you guys show up. Urban Action Showcase. Show up to the Urban Action. Yes. Show up. Show up. <laughs> Spread show the word. Up. MC, you <laughs> perfectly fine. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks again. Again, all of you guys here uh, in the panel, don't go anywhere. But all you badasses, hey, check the links in the description box below. All of you lovely people watching. Follow all of these legends here. That's right. Everything's down there to follow the Warrior Island universe. Urban Action Showcase, all that good stuff. And hey, if you enjoyed yourself, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the old samurai guy. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Keep kicking. Ninjas, baby. Ninjas. <laughs>